What's up Clippers? Welcome aboard. This is your host Kendrill. Join me as we go over our top three stories this week. On June 12, Philippine Vice President Lenny Robredo led the 121st Independence Day rights in Manila as President Rodrigo Duterte chose to spend the day in Lanao del Sur to meet with troops. Joined by Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada, Robredo led the flag-raising and wreath-laying ceremony at the Rizal Park. In her Independence Day message, she reminded Filipinos of their responsibility to defend and preserve our freedom for future generations. Duterte urged the public to ensure that the sacrifices of our patriots, heroes, and martyrs will not be in vain and that the dream of a fully independent Philippines will be achieved within our lifetimes. Also on this day, the annual Kalayaan Job Fairs were held on key cities all over the Philippines where more than 20,000 vacancies were up for grabs. The Trade Union Congress of the Philippines is urging the Department of Labor and Employment to address burnout in the workplace. This after the World Health Organization legitimately classified burnout as a medical condition. Dola's Bureau of Working Condition Director Teresita Kukueko said that they have included mental health and burnout in the proposed revised occupational safety and health standards. The World Health Organization has warned that a negative working environment can create and aggravate mental health problems. While mental health issues are still considered a taboo in most countries, especially in Asia and Europe, a lot of groups have already been actively taking a stand to end the stigma attached to it. Meanwhile, the Department of Health conceptualized strategies to effectively combat stress and urges the Filipino workforce to observe these guidelines to ensure healthy workplace living. Good news fellow K-pop fans, now your Korean dreams are already within arm's reach because the South Korean government will make it easier for Filipinos to apply for a visa. The Philippines and Korea are celebrating 70 years of diplomatic ties which dates back to when Filipino soldiers were deployed to help in the Korean War. Korean ambassador to the Philippines Han Dongman said that the embassy will start moderating visa requirements as well as simplifying their application processes, especially for qualified professionals, the media, and government workers. Qualified Filipinos may be given multiple entry visas to South Korea to provide convenience when visiting the country. Now that's a wrap for this week's top stories. Tune in for more by liking and following us on our social media pages that you can find below this video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you again next week. This is your host Kendrill and this is Trending Clips.